is Mrs. Raven. Today, I am going to be making some lentil soup. This is called red lentils. And I cook them in a pot. I'll show you them in a minute. With the red lentils, I'm making quinoa, quinoa seeds. And they are cooking in another pot that I have right here. I'll show it to you. Whoa, woo, hot. Okay, this is my rice cooker. Whoa, the steam is coming out. Steam, woo hoo. All right, this is called quinoa. It's a very healthy grain. Actually, it's not a grain, it's a seed. Okay, so that's gonna be with my lentils. Put that aside. I don't wanna burn myself. And I'll show you what my lentils look like. My red lentils. Here is my pot of cooked red lentils. This is what they look like cooked. Ooh, steam is coming out. Be careful. And this is what red lentils look like. It's like a soup. Okay, so to that red lentil, I'm going to add some sauteed carrots, carrots, red pepper, red pepper, and sweet onion. Okay, now how do you cut up carrots? Mommy has to do this part, but I started cutting my carrots already. take my carrots and I put them down on my cutting board. This is my cutting board. And I take my knife and I put the point down and I rock the knife back and forth. Make sure you don't get your fingers in the way. This is what mommy has to do. And I'm just showing you how I cook, okay? Cut my carrots up. And then I'm going to take all of my little chopped carrots and I'm going to put them in my wok. This is my wok, and in my wok is some olive oil. So I take my carrots and put them in there. And I'm going to do the same thing with my red pepper and my onions. Now, before you use any vegetables, you always need to wash them. Some people use a special scrub that they use on their vegetables. I sometimes just use a little bit of soap. Some people don't like doing that, but I just want to make sure that my vegetables are nice and clean and there's no dirt on them and no pesticides, which are what farmers use sometimes to kill the bugs. But I want to make sure my vegetables don't have any things on them that can make me sick. Okay, back to the cutting. When I open my pepper, I do it this way. I cut around and then I pull it open. And there are all the seeds inside. Did you ever look at pepper seeds? Those are pepper seeds, but we don't eat them. I just throw them out. You could dry them out and plant them in a garden. Right now, we're just cleaning our peppers. So we take all that out, and I do the same thing on this side. See that? And I knock it, out, knock it out like that. And then I cut my pepper in slices like this. dices. This is called dicing. When you cut a piece of fruit or vegetable in tiny little bite-sized pieces. And you have to be careful. Mommy has to be careful not to cut her fingers. And I will finish doing the pepper like this and I will add it to my pan I have my carrots in. This is an onion. 
an onion has skin on the outside that you have to peel off before you eat it. I usually cut off the ends and then I take my fingers and just pull off the skin like this. Ta-da! Then you can rinse off the onion. Clean off your cutting board and cut your onion. I cut my onion like this. I always keep the point of my knife on my cutting board so I don't hurt myself. This is how your mommy would cut. Then I turn my onion and I cut it this way. And when I do this, it comes out into little tiny pieces. Look at that. An onion has layers. There's layers in an onion. Look at this. You can peel an onion and show the layers. Look at that. An onion grows in layers. Many layers. Look at that. There's another layer. It's fun to cut an onion. And then I add this to my wok. This is a piece of garlic. It's actually a whole garlic. And I will show you what happens when you open up a whole garlic. Be careful. There are little pieces inside called cloves. This is a clove of garlic. It's hard to take the little paper off of the clove of garlic. I do it by cutting off the ends and making a little line in the garlic and then I peel it off. It feels like paper and that is a clove of garlic. Usually people will mince the garlic. That means teeny weeny weeny pieces. They make teeny weeny weeny pieces. That's called mincing when you cut something into very, very small pieces. Now I have minced garlic, and I will put that in my wok with the rest of my vegetables. You can ask mommy if next time she goes to the grocery store, you can buy a clove of garlic. Because this is the outside of the garlic, it feels like paper and it comes off. And a kid can peel this and won't get hurt by peeling the paper off of the garlic. That's something you can help mommy do. And then mommy will have to do the rest by taking the little paper off the individual pieces. See that? I do it like that. Yep. And the garlic pops out. That's a clove of garlic. Once all the outside skin or paper is taken off of the garlic, this is what it looks like. Then I put it all together in a little bundle and I mince it. I'm just putting it on a piece of paper to make it easier to pick up once I'm done. Oh, there's an extra piece of paper I didn't see. Garlic paper, that is. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. All done. Then I take my minced garlic and put it in the wok with my other vegetables. My mother taught me always to clean up after myself. I'm cleaning out the sink before I start frying my vegetables. Okay, I'm at the stove. This is called a gas stove because that blue flame that's coming out is fire and it's burning gas. It's gas that's on fire. So never use a stove. Mommy has to do it. I take my pan and put it over the fire. And now 
I'm going to mix my vegetables in my wok until they're done. While my vegetables are cooking, I'll put in some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning with pepper. I'll sprinkle a little bit in. I wonder what's in this. Let's read the let's read the ingredients. Ingredients: salt, garlic, ooh, tricalcium phosphate, an anti-caking agent. That means it's something they put in there so it doesn't clump together. Black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. All sorts of spices. And then they have the ingredients in Spanish. Ingredientes. Sal. That means salt. Ajo. That means garlic. And this makes it tasty. And then I stir it around. Mmm, sizzle, sizzle. I can hear it cooking. Mmm, it smells good. Ouch! I just burned my finger on the hot spatula. That's why kids should never use the stove by themselves. Ow, that hurt. I'm going to need to get some ice. Here's some ice from my ice cube tray. This will be good for my finger. It will make my finger feel better. Oops, be careful. Ooh, that makes it feel better. Ow, I burned myself. So far, so good. My vegetables are cooking on the stove. And then when they're done, I will add them to my lentils and then serve them over the quinoa. I'll let you see how it comes out. Well, kids, I think my vegetables are done sauteing. That means I cook them in oil in a frying pan or a wok. Now, what is the next step? The next step is to add my lentils to my mixed vegetables. Here I go. And stop. <laughs> Yummy. Now I'm going to mix it up. I can even turn off the heat because it is done cooking. Look at that, yum, yum, yum. This is a tasty lentil soup. I'm going to add a little splash of organic apple cider vinegar. It says, with the mother. What does that mean? That means there's little particles in here that's that you can see that are healthy for you. So I'm going to measure it out in my ladle. This is called a ladle. I'm gonna measure out a little bit in here. I don't wanna to put too much. And I'll mix that in. That'll give it a little tiny flavor that tastes very nice. And then I'll sample it. I'll take a little spoon taste a little and I'll let you know. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Now the time we've all been waiting for. It's time to serve it up. I'm taking some of my quinoa and putting it in my bowl. I like quinoa so I'm taking a little bit extra, two scoops, and then I use my ladle some of my lentils with my sauteed vegetables and put
put it over the top. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm going to sample it and you can watch. All right, here we go. Let's see how this tastes. Blow it off because it might be too hot. Then I taste it with my lips. Good. Maybe mommy will try this at home in your house, or better yet, maybe you can make a video for me of something you cook in your kitchen. Bye for now.